So here's the predicament today. Do we plant our own corn or start planting our own corn or do we help Farmer Jim start his tillage? There's rain coming in the forecast so that's a tough call because I really want to support Farmer Jim because be a farmhand but I don't know we need to get our corn in. Let's get to it. That is a decision I need to make here soon. But first, there's two deals I would like to seal this morning. What's up, Buck? Good dog, Buck. Such a good dog. So, we are first going to go check on our cattle. Make sure they are fed and watered. So there's two deals. I need to go to the local John Deere dealership and a local sheep farmer. See if we can uh, purchase two items. Alright, these cattle are fed and looks like they have water. I need to check my waterer on this other barn. I still having issues with it. I definitely don't want these cattle running out of water. Squeeze through the fence there. Alright, so it appears these cattle have water, so doing good on this side. I'm gonna put this uh, cultivator away quickly and park it to the side at least. Dark this old Alice Charmers up. Always starts up right away. Just don't want this in the middle of the way. Another thing we need to do in the next few days is uh, start spraying our grass. I need to just uh, put a little fertilizer down for it. Uh, right now they're just to get it uh, started up this year. Don't think we will get to that today. Would like to get to it before the rain, but I think putting corn in the ground is more important. That will be its home for a few days. Alright, so we just got our trailer hooked up and let's go to the dealership. So the plan is, I've had my eye on an older tractor at the dealer local John Deere dealer uh, they called me and said they would like to seal the deal it's kind of a unique tractor I kind of like it you don't see many of these tractors around anymore and this is like the John Deere's workhorse pretty sure this is John Deere's like number one selling tractor still running today uh, I think that's series tractor or maybe model, but this is a very popular tractor, but you don't see too many this style. Let's, let's just say that. Uh, I don't I don't have nothing for my cousin to do today, so she uh, doesn't need to come to work, but she's kind of disappointed, but I think I'll have a some stuff to do in the near future. Uh, I need to get spraying done, but I think that's a little bit too complicated for her right now, so I don't want to put her in that situation. Uh, maybe in the future we could get her to learn that type of stuff, but I don't want to throw too much at her all at one time, so then she's stressed out and doesn't want to come. Help me out. Alright. Look at all that shiny green paint they have here. Woo! Purdy. Purdy. Uh, I guess I'll park over here. Wouldn't mind having that swather one day. I don't think that's in the cards today, though. Uh, yeah, they got a, some nice uh, green paint here at the dealer. Looks like they got a 6R, a 7R, ooh, a 9RT, ooh, look at this nice, this combine looks familiar, I think somebody in Minnesota has one of these combines, almost exactly like it, pretty, old chopper, Maybe one day, old baby. Maybe one day. 
think this SWAT there's kind of down our alley. Take a look-see in here. Looks like it has GPS. Not a bad looking swather. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. This is what we came here for. A 4440. One of John Deere's best tractors they made. And this one's a little bit different because this is open station. So power shift. Not many of the power shifts around. I don't know. I mean it's I get it, you know, a cab is nice at times. Looks like we have uh looks like it has three hydraulic hookups. Everything looks clean. They got the inspection done, everything is good to go, so I mean uh kinda like the duels. I, my plan is to use this as a backup for probably tillage and planting maybe and uh, just a uh, use it primarily for uh, hey uh, obviously I'll take the duels off for that but wanted to purchase it with the duels so 4440s they, they will uh, they got some horsepower behind them I think they're running about what 140 it's good let me go try to seal this deal well we got the deal sealed, and our pocketbook is 30000 less. I don't know if that's a good deal for that, but it is a pretty nice tractor to have for 30000 mm, I think I got a pretty good deal. Definitely, I think. So now all we have to do is get it on our trailer and get it back home. Uh gotta lower the ramps on this trailer here all right got them lowered now let's see if we can uh, start this old girl up oh yeah starts up nice looks like the duels will hang off the side of the trailer all right uh, I think that weights about balance maybe Let's see. Uh, maybe a little bit farther back. Alright. Shut it off and let's chain this thing down. Alright, now let's uh, raise these back uh, ramps. Alright, got them raised and now we need to get back so we can start our day. Uh, okay, should make this turn here. So we actually have to go talk to a sheep farmer now. Uh, I'm not too keen on buying a uh, feed truck because obviously we have something in place right now, but I really just can't give up this deal. We're just going to pull the tractor down with us. Looks like he has a nice little place over here. Alright. I sure hope I can uh, turn this trailer around. I might have made a mistake. I have a hard time. Hopefully I don't have to back all the way down his driveway because that will not be fun. All right, we'll shut off and go try to find him. Don't know where this uh, truck is at. All right, well, we made the deal, 40K for this Peterbilt. Uh, it is a pretty nice truck. Can't really look at it in the barn here, so I think I'll start it up and pull it out so we can uh, I can show you uh, exactly what this uh, truck is about. As you see in here, it's a pretty nice interior. Uh, single axle, it has a roto mix uh, feed wagon on it so primarily I'm interested in this feed truck is one or other feed wagons kind of small this has a pretty uh, advanced scale system so we can really get that feed with our cattle mixed perfectly I am impressed by this uh, truck here and for 40k uh, for uh, 
10 year old truck is I can't let that deal pass up I think this will be a great uh, item on our uh, cattle farm it'll help grow our cattle farm and we can always have our other feed wagon as a backup so I always like I don't like having one equipment fail one person fail so that way basically if one equipment goes down I always have a backup if one person isn't available I can always use something else I, I just don't like them type of fails because that's what breaks a business obviously we can't get it on the trailer with the tractor and it's a truck so it can easily just be driven home so we will come and get that later on make sure this tractor is still tied down so everything's good don't want to lose that tractor like a head then headers just fall off a trailer all right so we all right i think i can back it up over there and then i'll be able to go home then we have to decide do we plant or do we till? All right, backing this uh, old girl up. At least trying. There we go. Now we will try to take it slow around his driveway. Head home. And get this uh, old tractor unloaded. We definitely have to go slow. Basically, them duels, they really stick out far. And these roads are not wide here, so... I don't know why that car stopped in the middle of the road. That's weird. Purchase this. This is really... It kind of scares me going around here because... This couple blind spot almost hit my cousin the other day, and uh, it's not very wide, so... If we ever hit anybody coming out, especially with this tractor on us, that we might get in an accident. Alright, now we're at the home stretch here. So we are going to offload this tractor right away. Uh, I don't think we really have a use for it right away. Uh, at least right now. So obviously we're going to have plenty of use for it in the future, but... As of right now, we don't have anything. Uh, I think I'll go get the feed truck. Uh, I don't know if I can look it over today to get it, utilize it, but probably in the near future because we need to start getting in the field. All right, let's back this old girl up. It's always kind of nerve-wracking back in a tractor off of a trailer. Definitely don't know. There we go. That was easy. That was basically painless. Uh, now the question is, where will we put this? Uh, yeah. Right here, we'll just back it in. Looks like a good spot. To leave it for a day or two so now we got to unhook this uh, gooseneck from our truck all right so I need to get the case ready to go on the planter that's another key thing I need to do thinking maybe I'll try to do both get our one field planted and hopefully work some as a farmhand after that that's the goal at least. We'll see how much we can get done. So I'm gonna pull ahead, try to get this aligned, get these uh, Dimco tanks back on our uh, tractor here. Use them for uh, fertilizer when we're planting. There we go, got them hooked up. Now we'll back up, get the planter back on and hook up all the hydraulic hoses. Uh, we did fix our air leak the other day, so I think the planter is fully ready to go. The, only, the next issue is we're gonna have to go get fertilizer and seed. All right, got the hydraulic hoses up. 
hooked up. Everything should be ready to go. Now we just need seed and fertilizer. Alright, I'll pull this to the side. Then I have to just go run to town and fill up with some fertilizer. Alright, so we hooked up our little fertilizer trailer here. We gotta fill this up and also get some seed. Run into town. That fertilizer trailer isn't really pulling the best. I don't know. I might have to check the air pressures on. I really just don't have time to do it right now. So hopefully I can get it to the co-op, get some fertilizer. Looks like now it's pulling better. That's good. It was just uh, really wagging around. It's just odd. I don't know why that would do that. Kind of like right now, but oh well. I'm hoping nothing will be an issue after we get it loaded. Alright, so we're pulling out of the co-op here with our seed and fertilizer. Got everything loaded up. So this should be enough. We uh, purchased some pioneer seed. And we got some fertilizer kickstarter for the corn. Should have everything we need now. Now, as long as we don't have a breakdown, we should be good to go. So we got back to the farm. Now we just need to hook this up, run the hoses, uh, fill up the planter here. So just got to fill up these boxes, fill out these front dental tanks, and then hopefully... We can start planting, there's no major issues. Alright, so we got the planter filled up. Uh, we put all thousand gallons into the planter. I didn't realize it hold more than a thousand gallons, but... So hopefully that'll be enough for our field. So we're over here to the field, and we're gonna unfold the planter. Everything is unfolding correctly. That's good. Sometimes it gives me a little issues when it unfolds. I have some issues trying to get it unfold, that is. Alright, lower the planter. Turn the planter on. Man, it really puts a horsepower through this tractor. That's for sure. All right, let's start planting a little bit here. We're going at about seven mile an hour, so pretty good pace. Uh, I think we will stop right there. Lower the planter. Now let's take a look, do some digging. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to lower it a little bit, so we got some pretty dry ground, so I don't want to put it too deep. really want the sea right where the moisture's at. So, alright, adjust that a little bit. We'll adjust our uh, depth wheels. And we'll take off again. Uh, definitely going good so far. Let's see where we're at now. Alright, so that's where we want to be, so we will start planting, hopefully get this field planted today. Alright, now that we got the depth set and everything, we're going to do the end rows over here, so right by our house, going to get all that done, so just so we have an easier time turning around, so I do not have row shut off on this planter, so it's, uh, let's just say it's way before that time. Uh, there is, uh, aftermarket 
row shut off so I could put on this planter, but don't know if that's smart right now because I don't think that's too much of an advantage with the acres that we actually put through this planter on around here. So I'm gonna enjoy watching my crop grow from the, my uh, back porch. This is definitely gonna have uh, a lot of eyes on it so I can watch my corn crop grow up, hopefully get a bumper crop. happy this planter is running so good so it's comforting that I haven't had a breakdown yet everything seems to be working we're getting a uh, good seed depth good uh, seed spacing so it's an older planter so it doesn't have let's just say the technology to have a perfect seed placement but it's good enough for our acres that we cover Sure, I'm glad I keep a nice clean cab in here. Nice and clean. That's the way I like it. So I can't stand a dusty, dirty, full of trash cab. Just like nice and clean. So much more relaxing in the cab, even though you have a loud muffler to deal with over here. But when you have it clean, I don't know if I have OCD, but I do like clean appearance, clean look to all my equipment, my truck, my tractor here. And it doesn't even matter to me where I go. I just feel I need to take a ride. Got my coffee cup to go and I'm gonna hit the road tonight. Now my wheels in motion and my really tell how dusty is back there just look how dirty our planter is uh, that's all right we'll pressure washer it off afterward so at least it's not too muddy uh, hopefully we get a good rain here coming up uh, almost perfect don't want to get too hard of a rain because then the ground will crust up and then we'll have a uh, bad germination rate rate on our uh, field here so hoping just for a light sprinkle just to give enough in the ground to get it nice and a little startup rain that's what we need basically This is the last two rows of this field. Whew! We are at one bushel, so I don't know. We might have to uh, mix some seed around a little bit, try to get this, uh, not have to refill, because we're gonna need like one bag. Like one bag of seed, 
possibly? Don't know. We'll, we'll see. Oh, man. So, don't know if we're gonna make this or not. It's gonna be real close. Wow. I'm thinking we're not gonna make it. That's unfortunate. Oh, have to go run back and get the truck, I guess. I think I'm just gonna walk back and get the truck and pull it down here instead of taking this all the way back to the farm. Just think that's probably a smart way to do it. Oh man, we got a little run to do all the way back to the farm. Keeps us in shape, nice and fit. You gotta be fit if you're a farmer. You gotta work hard, long hours. <sighs> Alright, we're back here. Now let's get in this truck. Maybe I should have drove the tractor a little bit out of breath here, but... <sighs> it's alright. Need a little exercise, especially when uh, legs are getting all cramped inside of tractor. Alright, we'll park this nice and close so we don't have far to carry these bags. Alright, let's finish this field off. Alright, now that is done. I'm gonna pull this out of the field and fold it up. I think I'm gonna run it over to the pressure washer, wash it off really quickly. Go. Now we just have to pull it back in the yard. Alright, I'm gonna pull it over here by the pressure washer, wash this old girl off. Just don't like anything dirty, that's for sure. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Oregon. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.